What's up, YouTube? This is Evan. Um, I did the Yuma deck for this week's duel. Um, I'm going to just briefly go over what I decided to put for the um, Yuma deck. Um, the goal, obviously, is to get into the numbers cards like Utopia, Big Eye, Shockmaster, Lucky Stripe, and stuff like that. Uh, Leviathan as well. Um, so you're going to want to go into your numbers as often as possible because that's really what Yuma focuses on. Um, while also maintaining some of the themes, um, I repeated some of them so that I'd see them more and that you'd have enhanced playability. Obviously this isn't going to be a card for card reproduction of what Yuma would have played, but it's kind of a playable version that also is a little more casual and fun. I don't suggest these for competitive play, this was just for kind of uh, some fun duels to show you guys on camera. Have a little fun with it. Uh, it's nice to take a break from the meta and just kind of like chill and have fun and goof around playing cards. So start with three, Gagaga Ga Magician. Obviously Yuma's like favorite card. Then two, Gagaga Ga Girl. And one, Gagaga Ga Gardena. Uh, really just put the Gardena in for the theme. You summon him every now and then, um, but he's kind of cool. You can summon him in, def in defense mode. He's kind of like a 2k blocker. So there's that, I guess you call it a Gaga Engine, maybe, I don't know, I wouldn't call it that. Three card card D, um, that's inexpensive, it's really good, and obviously Yuma does use the card, he's used it twice in the show, so it's cool, and it's kind of like how we give like Yugi Pot of Greed, well, card card D is kind of our mini Pot of Greed, and it's a helpful speed draw engine. Uh, two Kage to Kage, uh, for people who don't know what this is, it's when you normal summon a level four monster, uh, you can special summon this out of your hand. And it, this combo is really good well with Goblinberg because then you can summon uh, three level four monsters. And yes, it takes it all out of your hand. But remember, it's just kind of a casual duel, so it's not too big a deal. Um, speaking of Goblinberg, two Goblinberg. Um, it's where you summon a level four out of your hand and you turn it to defense mode. Uh, go, 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 Golem and go, 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 Giant. Go, 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 Golem uh, really stopped me from getting killed a lot in my duels. Um, because it was just kind of one of those set and and then it gets attacked and there's nothing big enough to get over it a second time so you can just sit behind him and then when he gets destroyed or used him as a material you can bring him back with go 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 giant so you can go for another utopia or something so that's really helpful two marauding captain uh, this works really well with two shine knight shine knight's kind of cool because he can be level three or four depending on his battle position and you can determine that by using a marauding captain because you can special summon it in defense or attack mode so you normal marauding captain and you can bring it out to become level four or level three if you want to make like a leviathan or something so that's really cool because it's maneuverability and for beat sticks uh alexander dragons they're also good fodder for uh your exceed monsters but again that was just kind of a, a way to repeat the same plays over and over with consistent they may not be the best plays but they're still fun Two double or nothing. This card's really funny with Utopia. All you do is you attack with Utopia, you negate U Ut uh, Utopia's own attack with his own effect, and then you use double or nothing, and when an attack that you make was negated, um, you target that monster, and you can attack again, but its attack is doubled. So it means if you're attacking directly, you can make Utopia hit 5,000. Uh, and then one monster slots, Monster Slots is like where you take a monster on your field, you pick the, a monster of the same level in your graveyard, you banish the one in the graveyard, and you look at the top card of your deck, and if it's the same level as all these levels, you can special summon it. That's how I got, in one of my games, I got an Alexander Dragon off doing that. And it's really cool because, let's say I have like a Gagaga -Ga -Ga on the field and a level 3 in the graveyard, I can then make Gagaga -Ga -Ga level 3 to try to do that. And you don't always do it for the special summon, you just do it a lot just to honestly just draw the card. Two MST, two Wonder Wand. Uh, I don't like this card at all, but it's still fun. I mean, if you can get it out, if you can get a Spellcaster with it, he uses it a lot in the show, so I figured it was okay to use it. One Book, one Reborn, one Dark Hole, one Heavy. This is our influence of making sure that staples get in the deck to speed this deck up and not make it a bore fest to watch the video. We're more focused on making a good video than making perfectly accurate decks. Three Call of the Haunted, again. This keeps the deck looking like an Exceed Days deck, Exceeds, excuse me, and just makes it a little more fun. Um, two Damage Diet. I like this card, actually. It, it, it does save me a lot when I'm getting the, 
you know, the, the crap knocked out of me by attacks. One judgment, again, just trying to keep things reasonable. And one mirror force. Uh, he does use this card, I think, in the show, but if he doesn't, and I'm wrong, then that's just our influence again. Alright, and we're going to hit the extra. We didn't do sides on these because they never show siding. They don't even play matches in the show, but they never show siding if they did. Two Utopia. I know he only uses one, but whatever. Sue me. <laughs> Utopia, right? Um, number 11, Big Eye. I like Big Eye. He's funny. He's, he's really cool. He, he's busted. <laughs> if you can get him out, he's really fucking awesome. One Shockmaster, because uh, he's a sweet. These are all cards that Yuma does run. That's why I don't have any awesome Xyz monsters in here. Uh, Lucky Straight. I thought it was Lucky Stripe. Lucky Straight. Cool. I don't know how to pronounce cards. Leviathan Dragon. Force Focus. I don't fucking play that card. That's terrible. The gen the gens. These guys put in work, and so does my stroke. The gens put in work. They're really cool. And that's the deck. If you like our character matches or had better suggestions, put them in the comments below. Again, this was just to kind of have like a fun time playing a deck that was themed around a character and playing against Yuki. So that's the deck. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey YouTube, this is Tim of Epic Duel Time. You just watched, hopefully, our character match, Yugi versus Yuma. This is the Yugi deck that I played. And let's just start. Dark Magician. Bobs. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Magician of Chaos. He's busted. Do I need to explain Dark Magician of Chaos? Everyone knows what it does. If you don't, oh well. <laughs> it's okay, look him up. Dark Magician Girl. Obviously, you're plussing in attack when you play her, as long as you got rid of these guys, not the demon. Demok yeah. really does not play with the rest of the magicians very well. No, he does not. Then we have... I'm going to continue with the magicians before anything else. Oh. Then we've got the skilled dark magicians. I didn't get to use its cool effect once, and that's really upsetting to me. Um, but, of course, Yuma, Evan, didn't yeah. play any spells when I played it. I don't play many spells. I know, it was annoying. It's good. Magician of Faith, I didn't get to use it as much as, as I would have liked to. She's but, busted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, the skilled darks, those were my primary uh, normal summon beaters that didn't come out very often. Two old vindictives, this card did work today. Um, especially in our test matches before, just so we knew what we were doing when we played the decks. Uh, I didn't fare so well. That was <laughs> yeah. This upsets me. I didn't play this once. But BLS, I think you all know how that feels. And then you don't draw it. Sangan. Yugi loved his gadgets, so... This is a combination Dude. between Battle City, uh, Pharaoh Yugi, and Little Yugi, so it's kind of just... This is a good deck thinner. Credit to Evan for build, for creating both of these decks. Credit to me for spending forever pulling through my bulk to find the cards for them. Mm -hmm. Just talk about yourself. I, I like to. <laughs> just like you do. <laughs> you love talking about me, don't you? No, that's weird. Um... Three Karibos, this card put in a lot. It's like, oh, 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 you, 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 you want to attack me? <laughs> no, I'm not going to take damage from you. Um, it definitely can help uh, you survive a couple turns. It only targets one monster, which makes it a little harder, but it happens. If Evan hadn't had Big Eye, this card would have ruined him at every turn. Marshmallow was just, that's ah, my MVP for the day. Um, Big any Eye shit. Any time. I got this out. There was one time that Marshmallow didn't help me. The guy is clearly 2 0. <laughs> Book of Moon. We already discussed this. Gold Sark. I wish it was the anime effect. I really do. Um, the anime effect was if you activated Gold Sark, you picked one card in your deck, you removed it from play, and kept it hidden. When your opponent finally activated the card, you revealed it and negated the effect. Yugi did this with Monster Reborn, the Yugi versus y Yami Yugi uh, match for the final couple episodes. It was awesome. Pot of Greed, Yugi used this. <laughs> Brain Control. Oh, I'm this glad. Good we... This good memories in this card. <laughs> no, there are not good memories. No, uh, you, with Yugi. Oh, with Yugi, yeah. yes. Not us. Not us. 
I like Flute it of Summoning Karibo. I loved the plays that you could make with this because if he if he didn't if he thought I didn't have Karibo or anything, I just had these. I could bait his MSTs to get those Karibos to hand. I don't know. I understand that it's also set with winged Karibo. It can get winged Karibo out on the field or Karibo out on the field or either to hand. It's really just cool. It general. is a GX card, but I thought that it was really good to use it. And because it, it sped up and it allowed for Karibo plays and allowed yeah. for a little bit more strategy and combination. Which was really nice. You don't get a whole lot of that in the current format. No, you really yeah. don't. Not, yeah. not, not in fun ways. Um, swords, I missed playing this. Um, it's just fun. I remember when you played it against Kaiba's Three Blue Eyes in the show, mm, and it was just, oh, that that's wrong. so much fun. What? They used it wrong. That's okay. Because someone's blowing that after. Eh. Three Dark Magic Curtains. I love this card. Um, it's like a hero lives for Dark Magician. Which is like, oh, I get a 2,500 beater? And for half my life points, I get a monster that won't give me my hey. worth back. He no, he he's a fighter. But it's a cool card. I, I know that Arcana used it. Um, but I felt that while Yugi does get to use its effect as well, at one point, because it led both players to another Dark Magician in the enemy, and I just won. But Regardless of anything, it's it did work. In this specific matchup, it was fine. Um, it really helped out a lot, because Dark Magician is bigger than almost everything he brought out. It's even to Utopia. So. And, the, and the other thing is, it's not you don't just a activate this for the sake of activating. You use it when you You're need ready. it. Yeah. Um, two MST we discussed. Yugi definitely is reborn. Because, you know, that's exactly what he put in the gold sarcophagus in those last couple episodes. Yami was not happy. A judgment. Anyone else remember when he chained destruction? Mm -hmm. That was fun. Um, time seal? He time seals yeah. uh, Rare Hunter. Yeah. It's cool. I didn't get to use it. Mirror Force, we all know we used it. This card, I, I had been complaining the entire time I would not get to play it, and then it really was awesome when I did. It went, Magical it, Hats. Yeah, I got you some time. Ah, oh, that was nice. But, so this is a quick, for people who don't know at home, this is a quick ruling question on this that I've had. When, all right, so <laughs> when the two them. cards, yeah, I'm telling <laughs> them. When two cards come out, okay, so let's say, and this is just like, God forbid you ever wanted to like joke around with your friends and tech this card. So what you do is, can I have the reborn? Do you have a reborn? Yeah, reborn All right, here we go. So what you do is you have a monster. So let's say I'm trying to save my skill dark magician, and I, I choose my book of moon and my my reborn. I mix them up. And of course, I know which ones are which. My uh, reborns are here. So because this, and I have one card set. Let's say they go to attack this. I use compulse. These are counting as zero zero monsters, and they can return to your hand. So this can go back to my hand, even though it's a spell. It's a zero zero monster, so this will actually go back to my hand. So before the end of the battle phase, just make sure you use this to get this back to your hand. It's kind of a funny tech. I don't like recommend it for competitive play, but if you're looking at like just like troll your friends or have a fun little tech for a fun game, this is actually kind of a funny card, <laughs> and th that's just a cool ruling that you can do to make. Your spells go actually go back to your hand with compulsory evacuation device. It's kind of crazy, but that's kind of the only thing I wanted to say about that because it's just like that's really it's funny. It's funny. I enjoy. I it. like. I've never gotten to do it, but and I've never tried it. But well, it's thanks funny. YouTube. Have a good one. Yep, but we don't have extra decks. Thanks for watching the first ever Epic Duel Time character match. Let us know in the comments what you thought what you'd be interested in seeing in future videos, and what kind of videos you'd be interested in seeing the Epic Duel Time crew make. Be sure to head over to EpicDuelTime.com to visit our blog, where Epic Duel Time members post weekly articles, news, the latest Epic Duel Time videos, and much, much more. Also stop by the Facebook page and click the like to show your support for Epic Duel Time and stay in tuned into the latest Epic Duel news. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your support, and as always, keep doing America.